Hi, my name is Brittany Dittness, and today I will be recording on Brazil, the largest country in South America. Um, more specifically, I'm going to be talking about relations between the United States and Brazil right now and the postponement of the visit by this lady. This is Miss Dilma Rousseff. She is Brazil's president and why she has postponed her visit to the United States and the effects that has had on Brazil and the United States. Um, basically, we've all heard about Edward Snowden. He was the NSA um, contractor that was, leaked documents and information that the National Security Agency was spying on citizens and organizations and it caused a big stink and it's now still causing a big stink because on September 1st it was released that the United States National Security Agency had also been spying on Miss Rousseff. Yes, um, they were monitoring her phone calls and her emails along with the phone calls and emails of other senior officials and then there was evidence that the NSA um, had been spying on Petrobras which is Brazil's uh, oil, national oil company. Um, a very angry Miss Rousseff, for good reason, um, called President Obama on September 16th and she basically demanded explanations, an apology, and a guarantee that the illegal practices would cease. And though Obama said he understood her concerns, at the end of the day, the two leaders decided to postpone the visit. Although, with no date set in the future, it's kind of looking more like a cancellation of a visit. Um, this will be the first time that a Brazilian president has not uh, visited the United States since 1995, which is quite a long time. Um, what this means for relations with the United States right now, um, there's a short-term cost to the spying that looks a lot greater for Mr. Obama. Um, Brazil is mulling over a bid right now um, from Boeing to provide 36 Super Hornet jet fighters, sounds pretty cool, um, for their Air Force. And officials, because of this, they might prefer fr aircraft from France or Sweden which would not be good for us or Boeing. Um, then there is also an interest of American energy companies in bidding for a slice of giant deep sea oil field at an auction next month. Uh, Brazil's energy regulator says that the integrity of the auction hasn't been compromised by the spying, but nationalist members of Brazil's Congress might not agree. Um, what this is done to Brazil, however, it has triggered a lot of debate. Um, one thing that it has triggered a debate about is how the internet operates in Brazil. Um, Brazil has been quoted by Rubens Barbosa, the, a former Brazilian ambassador to Washington, that Brazil has one of the most vulnerable and unprotected internet infrastructures in the world. That stinks for them. Um, so officials are now talking about laying fiber optic cables to Latin American countries and Europe so that Brazil's international online traffic bypasses the United States altogether. They also plan to tackle the country's shortage of internet exchange points, which makes eavesdropping and that uh, which makes eavesdropping easier. Um, they have ordered Brazil's post office to launch a free encrypted email system uh, that would compete with Gmail and others like that. Um, and then Petrobras, the national oil company, they are intending to spend $9.5 billion over five years to improve its data security. Um, Ms. Rousseff, she has also urged the Congress to approve a long proposed regulatory code for the internet. Um, telecoms companies kind of resist this because it prevents them from charging more for superior premium content and we know how internet companies like to charge for premium content. Um, and its supporters say that this code would make it easier to punish if not prevent online spying. 
Um, the president also wants the bill to include a requirement that Brazilians electronic data be stored in Brazil and not abroad. Um, another risk for the spying is that it promotes protectionism. Um, and a past example of this was in the 1980s, a military government actually barred import of computers in a failed attempt to foster local in uh, industry. Um, also, this proposed code is the subject of fierce democratic debate. Um, internet providers, uh, providers' lobbies include Microsoft and Google, and they say the code would further raise the high cost of using the internet in Brazil. Um, the really ironic thing about this is that Ms. Rousseff has actually taken some pains to try to improve the relations with the United States right now, which were damaged by Luiz Inacio Lula da Silva, her predecessor. And, um, but, you know, no Brazilian president can really ignore the fact that their uh, country was being spied on by the United States. This is kind of, um, raised a lot of fears and deep-seated fears that the United States is trying to stop Brazil from rising, which is a little, for the for American officials, they say that this is kind of groundless and not as intense as people are saying, but mainly where these fears are coming from is Brasilia. This little place right here, not the rest of the country. Um, while officials insist that this affair will not prevent both sides from continuing business as usual, the cancellation of Ms. Rousseff's visit does represent an opportunity foregone. And that is all I have to say about Brazil today. Thank you.